recording. Here we go. All right, baby monitor. Okay, let's put this baby monitor over here. Phone's over there. All right, great. All right, welcome back to another video. I'm Mr. Mill. I am your art teacher at Homestead Elementary. Now, this video's purpose is to just be an about me video. Um, I've seen many videos online, uh, Draw My Life. Um, I'll try to do my best, but it's hard because like most of the stuff's not drawable, well, in my opinion. But um, we'll go from there. So let's start off. So over here, ugh, this is my weak version of the United States of America. <laughs> so there's Maine, East Coast, there's Florida, Texas, California, and then over here is Alaska and stuff like that, and Hawaii. Now, uh, to start off, I was born in Miami, Florida. Right there on the tip of Florida, right there. Um, I grew up in New Jersey, so New Jersey's right around here. I grew up in the East Coast mainly. Uh, that's where I spent the majority of my life so far. I was born, uh, sorry, I was born in Florida, but I grew up in New Jersey. I went to school there. I also went to uh, my undergrad there and also grad school there as well before it comes to terminal college. But then I met my wife in college and we moved, or I moved, to live with her out here in Illinois. And this is a bad Illinois right there. There's lakes over here. Uh, Alright, anyways, <laughs> I moved to Illinois. Now, I've been here for about seven years now, give or take, and um, I've been liking it here so much so far. Um, so, I moved here just to be with uh, just to be with her. All my families and friends are out in Illinois, uh, sorry, out in uh, New Jersey. But um, I'm here now, and uh, we have a son as of March of this year, and his name is Carter. And he's doing great. He was born in hard, unprecedented times, but we're doing it, as you can see, by the baby monitor over there. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so when it comes to teaching art, um, I've been in the teaching roundhouse for a little bit. Uh, in New Jersey, I taught at at the high school level. So high school, like I said, most things are not really drawable. I, I, I guess I could draw high school, but then it'll take forever. <laughs> Anyways, I, draw, I taught at the high school. I taught 9th through 12th grade, if you guys did not know that. And then uh, after I taught that for about a year, I taught middle school. But here's the interesting thing about middle school. Uh, at this middle school I taught at in uh, Ewing, New Jersey, I only taught 6th uh, and 8th grade. I don't know why 7th grade didn't have art. I guess it was too piling on my schedule, so I didn't complain. So anyways, I didn't teach 7th, so no 7th yet. Um, and then I moved to Illinois, and then I taught at a school in uh, Broadview. And that school in Broadview was in Broadview, Illinois. Sorry. And that school was uh, K, so kindergarten through eighth grade. So that was a big range. Um, there was a lot of disciplinary issues, but uh, not to say that it wasn't a great school, but I just think it was like a lot of packed of a lot of grades and a lot of back-to-back -back stuff going on. And uh, it wasn't my favorite. But anyways, I applied for a new job. I applied to, I think, 120 jobs, I think, at the time. And I, got, I landed with Homestead Elementary out of the five interviews, and I just stuck with it. So Homestead Elementary is my next stop in my teaching um, career. Here we go, Homestead Elementary. I should just draw a paw <laughs> instead of writing it out. And that's, uh, of course, K through five. That's where you guys come in. So that's been great so far. Um, it's been really good. I've been looking at my notes over here, <laughs> see if I've missed anything. So I've been teaching at Homestead for about nearly uh, seven years, probably. Seven years at Homestead Elementary. But I've been teaching for about seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably ten years total. Ten total. Ten total years. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming that's what it was. So anyways, there's that. Uh, what else about me? Oh, this is hard. Um, oh, if you guys don't know what my birthday is, my birthday is this day. And if you guys want to do the math, I will not, let, I will not tell you. You guys can probably guess who it is. I was born 1987, May 13th. <laughs> it was Wednesday, by the way. Um, not that, like that matters anyway. But anyways, that's that. Uh, when I was growing up, I used to love skateboarding. I don't anymore because I don't want to hurt myself. But I was pretty good at it. I used to jump down the stairs, do all the quarter pipes and ramps, handrails. I could do everything. Switch regular. It was a lot of fun. But um, I quit that for a little bit, and then. But also, but I've always loved video games though. Um, <laughs> I've always been a video game nerd. Um, I can probably show you uh, what my first video game console was. I have it on display. So, the first console I got, or first thing I got was this Game Boy right here. So I got the original Game Boy, if you guys can see that. They're in focus. Um, I also got, uh, I used to play with this one. I think this was next. I think Game Boy Advance. That was pretty fun. And then my last handheld was this Game Boy Color. Kind of cool. I played um, a lot of Pokemon in these games. 
and then um, I had a PlayStation. I never had any of the Nintendo systems, I don't think. So I went from like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and then I went to PC. Uh, I went to PC for a while. That's where all my World of Warcraft fandom came from. I bought all the collector's editions and stuff. Been obsessed with that game since college. Uh, but nowadays, I play with this thing right here. Ah, the Switch. So I'm obsessed with this thing. I play this all the time. Um, so some of you guys know why I play a lot. I play Pokemon. I play... Uh, what else do I play? Uh, Smash Brothers, and nowadays I play a lot of uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing is a lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun too. And um, I'm missing the point of this video. The point of the video is to draw, and uh, I apologize. So we'll go uh, Game Boy Color, or sorry, Game Boy. I think it looks like this. Power button, two buttons right there, right there. And I went to the PlayStation. So I think the PlayStation looks kind of like this, with a big power button right there. Some vents, and then memory card slot. There you go. How's that? I think that's how it looks like. Ah, I think I reversed it. <laughs> I think the D-pad's on this side. Yeah, it is. There you go. Anyways, that's how it was. Uh, and then from then to uh, PC Master Race. <laughs> PC Master Race with a keyboard, keyboard and mouse. And then now I'm on the Switch. So here's the Switch. <laughs> Best of my ability. Sorry, I'm going really fast. There is a capture. No, there's a home button. There's the capture button. And then on my switch, I have a D-pad on mine, so top plus, plus minus. There you go. All right, the switch. <laughs> so that's, that's, uh, that's the Nintendo Switch that uh, is a current hobby of mine as well. But anyways, um, there's that. What else am I missing? All right, so in short, to summarize this, uh, I love teaching. Uh, it's my number one thing I like to do. Uh, that's why I bought this architectural uh, draft table because I thought it was like perfect. Uh, this is actually the size of like one of the main tables I have in my art room, but instead of four people, it's just for me, and I just love this thing. <laughs> um, what else? I can also tell you guys uh, now, like since I've been teaching at Homestead, uh, when it comes to my general life, uh, certain things I do like. Uh, I love driving my car. I'm not really good at driving fast. I got a Prius. <laughs> uh, you guys will probably see my car before. My, my Prius has my name, has Mill on the license plate. Um, <laughs> sometimes it has a bike rack on top, so sometimes there's bikes on top. Uh, one or two bikes depending on who's coming with me. And there's like a big uh, wing in the back. Looks like a race car, kind of. Not really. <laughs> but it has uh, cool stickers on top and stuff. So anyways, that's my car. I love my car. Um, since I live in Westmont, Illinois, if you guys did not know that, it's about, give or take, 30 to 40 minutes away on a good day, except Fridays. Friday's traffic is ridiculous. Um, on my travels, sometimes I like to drink coffee or water. Uh, otherwise, I love Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and my normal order is a medium, medium iced latte. Uh, and it comes with a, a shot of, of a flavor of some sort. Uh, sometimes you gotta go at the right time or else they don't do it right because like it just sinks at the bottom. So I'm just gonna drop my latte right here and it's iced so there's normally a straw that pops in through the top. And then here's my drink. Woo and the normal flavors I get is either uh, caramel or, if, or butterscotch. But that's a seasonal. They normally have that only in the summer. Uh, and then obviously in the fall, uh, yes, I'm gonna be one of those guys. Uh, pumpkin, <laughs> it's pumpkin spice. <laughs> so medium ice pumpkin spice latte. Uh, oh, and last but not least, easy ice. Easy ice. Cause I don't want any of that like nonsense with just like uh, full on ice cubes all the way to the top. Cause then you'll only get like a little bit of sips, like maybe like five sips and you're done. So I always ask for easy ice. So anyways, that's that. What else about me? Um, I filmed YouTube videos before in the past, so if you do go on this YouTube channel, uh, you can look back at how far back it goes. It does go pretty far back, but um, I don't post that often as I do now, because uh, nowadays, because it's e-learning, I'll probably be making more videos now. Uh, you see this big uh, computer station behind me? Uh, that's another hobby of mine. I like to build computers, so computers on the other side. I don't want to talk too much about it because, you know, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth, and fifth grade are watching. And I don't want to bore you guys. Um, I can show you guys a clip of my wall back here. Maybe I'll show you more stuff about me. 
Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm not much, much, much of an interesting guy. I hope you guys find me entertaining, though. But uh, that's it. So that's uh, a really poorly waves drawing about my life. I, I thought I'd do better, but <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about me. Um, actually, you know what? I think I got a better idea. Why don't I show you guys one of my sketchbooks? And I think you guys will like it a little better. This is my go-to sketchbook that I always like to show people because it's the most full. Um, I do have other stuff to show you as well, but um, maybe I'll save it for another time. I'm going to see how long this video is so far. Okay, it's 11 minutes. I'm trying to aim for 15 here. That's my requirement. Um, but uh, let's see what I can do. So I'm going to push this uh, notebook to the side. And here's my next sketchbook right here. So this one, I think it's dated... Um, uh, I don't put a, I didn't put a, a year date, but I'm pretty sure this is 2013. Um, so we'll go through this one, volume one. All right, volume one. So we'll do an 11 by 17 and an 8 by 10, and then we'll go over those and call it done. So um, let me show you guys some things I can do. So this isn't about me, about your art teacher, and uh, it'll probably be. Let me see how Carter's doing. <laughs> Carter's doing really well. All right, just gotta double check, make sure I'm a good dad. All right, so. I'm getting off topic here. All right, so let's take a look at this one first. All right, so this one uh, is an eight by 10, and sometimes you'll see markers, sometimes you won't. Uh, I think this is when uh, Frozen came out, so this is really cool. I really like Big Bang Theory. It's one of my favorite TV shows. Um, the reason why I like showing sketch, people's sketchbook is because you can kind of see where I'm coming from and what kind of stuff I'm interested in. Um, ramen, sriracha, <laughs> I love sriracha. Uh, over here, this is marker. So this is the Joker and Harley. I was just testing out some markers. I wasn't really good at the time, but I was trying to practice and I think it turned out pretty well. So there's that. Um, my hand, some head studies. I like to call these head studies when I'm trying to study someone's head. Um, some more. Uh, coffee, because I love my coffee. Uh, here's Batman and Rapunzel. Uh, a Gundam, here's a couple of stitch faces. Um, so there's that. Oh, so this one's really cool. So check this out. So there's the original sketch. Here is a refined sketch in tracing paper. And then I figured out the colors. I took this one off and I drew with a pencil line. And I put the color on back. And then if I press them all down together, you get that. Pretty cool, huh? So that's that. Um, you guys have a fascination with uh, water towers here when I first moved to Illinois. So I, I drew uh, water towers because in New Jersey, we don't really label our towns with water, uh, with water towers. Um, uh, Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory. Here is, uh, I think, Superior Spider-Man. Um, not to get into detail, but that's when Dr. Octopus took over Spider-Man's body. That's a different story. Anyways, uh, Fat Dogs. <laughs> um, I forgot what TV show that's from. Uh, Michael Fassbender. Um, I think I liked him as an actor way back in the day. Um, what else? We got Frozen again. Uh, more Frozen. I think, th I think this is when Frozen was really popular. I was like, okay, what can I do to please people? Uh, Deadpool, don't really suggest him. He's cool, but he's not that interesting to draw. Uh, here's some other stuff. Um, a friend of mine, more friends of mine. Um, <laughs> the birds from uh, Finding Nemo. Uh, oh, Pokemon, look how cute he is. Pikachu. Um, these are cool. These are like the evolved versions, but small in like terms like Bulbasaur stuff uh, on no, not Bulbasaur what am I saying <laughs> Blastoise's guns on uh, Squirtle and stuff like that there's Charizard's wings on Charmander and so on uh, Ron Swanson <laughs> Henry Cavill aka Superman um, Turtles Henry uh, Chris Hemsworth uh, more Spider-Man I always like drawing Spider-Man he's fun to draw um, more markers and stuff so whenever you do marker on a paper you guys know you lose a page so I had to skip that one uh, industrial time of uh, Iron Man. I'm bumping this into this thing a lot. Hold on. All right, is that better? Okay, I'm just gonna keep bumping into it. Sorry. Uh, Minion. Uh, what else is interesting? Uh, oh, Vader like an ice cream. Uh, some quick studies of Marvel characters. Uh, Samurai uh, Optimus Prime. Pretty cool stuff. I'm just gonna flip over more. Um, here's more serious studies I tried to do. Like a coffee shop. I think I sat at a coffee shop and I saw that outside of the door. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, it's, it's in season, so we'll see. Um, or I'll see. Um, let's see. Street Fighter, World of Warcraft, um, stuff like that. So, anyways, that's the sketchbook. Uh, it was fun. Okay, so 
there's that. So moving on, I don't want to make this video too long because I'm already at I'm already at 16 minutes. All right, we'll just skim this one for now, and then we'll just end it there. So, anyways, um, I'm pretty sure I've done this on my YouTube channel before. <laughs> These two exact sketchbooks. Anyways, here it goes. Um, so the 11 by 17s are comic graded uh, level of artwork that I've done, and uh, the minimum hours it has taken me is probably four hours. Um, depending on which one it is, or if it's fully done or not. If it's not fully done, then definitely under four hours. So for instance, this Thor one, it took me about 10 hours, I think. And it's really cool. This next one is uh, Wolverine and Hawkeye. Definitely probably 10 hours plus. Um, <laughs> and I put a redo sign on that one. Can you guys see that? No, <laughs> probably not. Um, Superman, we got that. We got Magneto. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Um, you guys can't really see that from the camera, I don't think. Yeah, these aren't really gonna come out really that well. Um, Alright, these are cool. Um, this one on top is uh, Toothless and Stitch looking at each other. And then this one over here on this side... Why is it crinkly? Oh, this one over here is uh, Pikachu and Stitch doing headstands together. Pretty cool. I'm gonna have to readjust the brightnesses on that one when I edit this video. Um, T-Rex. Um, let's see, World of Warcraft, uh, I think that's one of the bad guys from one of the games. Um, <laughs> oh, this is when, um, what's his name, Kristoff and Anna, they go to Disney World, so I thought that was a pretty cool idea to draw. Um, someone in the school, uh, I gave him the original copy as a gift, and uh, I never did it ever again, so good luck to that person. Uh, she's probably in 8th grade now, I think. That was that. Alright, um, next thing else you could see, I think this is gonna be, hold on, I think this is supposed to be Hogwarts, I, didn't, I never finished it. And then over here is Harry Potter himself, in like a nice organized space. Um, <laughs> there's snow. Um, this is supposed to be the Weasley house, on top. And then on the bottom is the bridge to head towards Hogwarts castle. Um, pretty cool, next one, uh, this is Diagon Alley. And this is an exact um, blueprint of a Hogsmeade in the uh, Universal Studios Orlando. And I thought it was pretty cool. So like, here's the bathrooms, here's the restaurant, here's the candy store, and stuff like that. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, that's basically it. So I'm going to wrap up this video because this video is getting way too long. It's going to take way too long to edit. And uh, I probably have to visit uh, this guy and see what he's doing. But anyways, I said this About Me video, uh, half uh, draw my life video, which is probably poorly done. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Hope to see you guys soon, and have a good one. Sorry, I'm terrible at wrapping up videos.